This is a wool farm that generates about 10,000 wool per hour. It's not that huge and it's quite productive for its size. But before we get to how this works, we need to start on a smaller scale to understand the problem we're actually solving. This is a standard wool farm. It has one lone sheep with no friends that sometimes eats the grass block it stands on. That grass block turns into dirt. And an observer detects that the grass block turned into dirt and dispenses shears on the sheep. And then the wool is picked up by this hopper minecart underneath. This is the standard farm that pretty much everybody is using. And I guess it works, but I do not believe it's efficient enough. And the reason why I don't believe it is that the sheep wants to eat about once every 50 seconds on average while it takes much longer for the grass to regenerate. Now, I don't have any solid numbers for how fast the grass regenerates because it depends on many factors. And there is actually very little information about the mechanics of it on the wiki or anywhere else published that I have been able to find. But in the limited testing that I have done on how often grass regenerates, and not in a farm like this, but actually pretty much just in an open field. So maybe ideal circumstances, I'm not sure. But in those situations, the grass regenerated on average once every four minutes, three and a half, four minutes. So the first obvious solution we could attempt to solve it is this. A piston feed tape replaces the grass block under the sheep when it's eaten. Just like here, but rather than just one grass block, the sheep potentially have this whole line here. Now, the problem right now is actually that some, sometimes a dirt block can travel a whole way around and end up under the sheep. And sometimes the mechanism isn't accurate in detecting that the sheep have eaten the grass. So this might not be the perfect system. In fact, I have not been able, at least with 16 sheep, I have not been able to make it much more efficient per sheep than this. And look at the surface area of this thing. This is huge. In comparison, this is just six blocks per sheep. At least if we ignore the geometry of trying to tile these, which is actually harder than it looks. So I thought, why not move the sheep instead? And this is what I came up with. It might be a little bit hard to see what's going on. So I built a smaller module like this. Let's build another module just to see how this is supposed to work. We put down a dispenser here. Grass blocks all the way. Powered rails here. Another grass block here. We need a torch under here. Take this detector rail. Curve the detector rail up. Give the block for the minecart to bounce on. And put the minecart down. And add sheep. That's it. Well, that's almost it because we also need shears in here. And now this thing is producing wool as well. The little roof of glass around here is so that when the wool gets sheared, it kind of flies off in all kinds of directions. So it's the, the roof is needed to, to contain it. And also this wall on the side here as well. In that farm there, this is actually grass. Because that seems to help to spread the grass. In a bigger scale testing, I've seen the grass above here increase the performance of the farm by 2 to 5%. And the last thing that we need to do is, of course, to pick up the wool. And that we can do just with hopper minecarts going under here. The unloaders for the hopper minecarts are not strictly necessary because a farm this small doesn't really generate enough wool for this to be a problem. The bigger one you saw at the beginning, that one needs proper unloaders. 
The length of the platform is 8 blocks, because that seems to be in the sweet spot between the sheep getting sheared often enough and having enough grass to eat. Technically, 9 blocks is slightly better, but only by a hair. And by 10, and definitely by 11 blocks, the performance actually starts to go down in longer term tests. Shorter platforms work as well, but below 5 blocks the performance will start to suffer and eventually you can up, end up in a situation where the sheep eat all the grass on the platform below and that drastically slows down the spread of the grass. So I wouldn't go shorter than 6. Now there isn't much more to it. You can use any unload system you want, I'm not gonna give you a guide for that. And how to build this I already showed you, it's absolutely trivial. But if you want to look at some measurement or some details, there will be a world download in the description of this video. The light sources around here and on the top are necessary because grass blocks need to be lit up to spread to dirt. In my experimentation, I have seen that the dirt doesn't need any light level. It, it can be completely dark and surrounded by other blocks and the grass will spread to it. But the source block needs to be lit up. And the last thing we need on the back here, we have hoppers pointing into the dispensers with the shears. With just some extra shears in case we run out. But one dispenser full of shears it lasts for hours and hours. I do believe it's 10 hours, but I might have done a mistake in that test, so I will not promise that. Now, let's talk about performance. This thing generates about 45 wool per hour. Sometimes when we're lucky, one hour it can be 55 wool. Sometimes it's slightly less. I think it averages around 45 to 50 over the 20 hours I've been running it. But it, the variance is very high. Since this requires at least 6 blocks per sheep, if we ignore the geometry of tiling these next to each other, that means that we're getting 7.5 wool per block per hour. In contrast, this is 10 blocks per sheep. We can count the blocks. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So it's 10 blocks of surface area. That's I, I just mean surface area when I'm counting the blocks. And generates around 100 to 110 wool per sheep per hour. On a, a very long test, over 40 hours, it averaged to 107 wool per hour. But I have seen as high as 115 and as low as 102. So let's say 10.7 wool per block per hour. Now... Performance of the farm is not everything. We also want to know how this affects the server performance. And for that we're gonna go to the big farm. This farm contains 96 sheep. 96 is a good number to use because if you go over a little bit over 100 sheep or so, the loot collection system, and especially that last minecart, can't really keep up, and wool starts despawning at the end. So 96 is a good number because that is 6 sheep of each of the 16 colors. And that also conveniently gives us around 10 stacks of each color of wool per hour. In other words, this is about 10,000 wool per hour for 96 sheep. Now, to see how much this affects the performance of the server, we can use the tick warp from the carpet mod to speed up time for about 5 minutes and see how fast that went. And the result is about 6.5 milliseconds of CPU time per tick. This means that since the background noise is about one millisecond or so, it should be relatively safe to multiply this farm by at least eight. So you could have eight of these farms on a server without it melting down. Please note though that I have a decent CPU and I'm running Java 14, which has better performance. So your mileage may, may vary. Of course, 
test first before you do something crazy. One last thing worth mentioning about this big farm is that the first line of uh, the unloading system doesn't actually have a hopper here. Instead, to keep up with the output of this big farm, you need to put a hopper in, drop a rail, then put a minecart with a hopper on it, destroy the rail, sand, and sand. And this allows this minecart to unload fast enough so it can go back and pick up more loot so it doesn't spend all its time unloading. And while this minecart is running around, the minecart with hopper dumps its loot into this hopper. And that is enough to keep up. And that should be it for this guide. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and I'll answer anything I understand. But until then, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!